Hi guys, welcome to another class of Pilates that you did. Today we're going to work into some old fashioned Pilates moves, very similar to yoga moves. Starting off though, we're going to do inchworm just to warm the whole body, but before that we're going to even warm it more with a breath. If you need to, you can just come onto your knees or just hold it. So the feet are hip width apart, tuck the chin in, just round the knee to the back and roll down. Hold it here and just the knee back and back. Pull the abs in, rounding into the back. Roll up, once more roll down. Walk it all the way forward coming onto your elbows. So if you need to bring your knees down, come get your hands shoulder width apart, bring your bum down. If you're not strong enough to walk, bring the knees to the mat, but in this position. So you can have your bum up, but I think it works more if you've got your knees here and engage in the core. So, other knees here core is tight or lifting up shift forward let's go for one pause tight like i'm punching you in the lower belly five six seven eight eight pause tight six five three two one one two three shoulders relax push that actually round into the shoulders and hold one three four five six seven eight come to your knees and walking it back <coughs> walking your feet and your hands towards each other bend the knees rounding into the back rolling up i'm changing sides coming to the back of the mat your feet are hip width, core is tight, tuck the chin in, roll down, walking your hands forward, coming onto into your plank, knees, all the way down, inhale, push up, and walk it back, rounding into the back, rolling up, inhale, tuck the chin in, roll down, walk it forward, Plank, knees, push down, push up, two, rounding, into the back roller, inhale, walk it forward into your inchworm, knees, all the way down, three, just to warm up nicely, roll up, Roll down, walk it forward, four, pause tight, keep those elbows tucked in as much as you can, rounding, roll down, five, walking it back, Rounding into the back. Roll down, pause tight. Six. Inhale, exhale. Rounding into the back. Rolling up. Seven. Knees. Push up. Roll back. Last one at this one. Last one. Round down. Walk it forward. Course tight. Knees. Push down. Push up. Walk it back. Now we're going to do intro and coming down. Roll down. Come into your plank. Open up to one side. Take it back. Try to keep your shoulders slightly over the wrists. Change in size. Two, come into your plank. 
open up, bring it back around, roll up, roll down. Three, walk it back and rolling up. Roll down, four, cause attack, roll back, rolling up, five, and roll back, or walk attack, roll up, roll down, six, Walk it back. Seven. One more on the last side and then one more set. Roll up. Roll down. Open up. Walk it back. And coming up. Now we're going to do just a push up. So roll down either on your knees or just a full push up. Hands as wide as the mat, shift forward either on the knees and then your push up. You don't have to go all the way down. Walk it back, rounding into the back, rolling up. One. Keep the core tight, cool then. Hands as wide as the mat, elbows towards your Bum, two, roll down, walk it forward, shoulders over the wrists, elbows facing your back or your heel, three, inhale, four, always a nice warm up, keep the core tight, only going down as far as you can. Five. Also try not to look all the way down. Just look a little bit ahead so that you don't dip your head. Six. Walking it forward. Seven. Rounding into the back, rolling up, walk it forward, eight, walking it back, rounding into the back, rolling up, and coming onto your knees. So lying on your back, we're going to roll up and down. As you roll up and down, make sure you engage in your core. So starting off all the way on the back, you can bend your knees if you find it easier, or straight leg, hands behind you. Inhale, exhale, roll forward, round into the back and down. Inhale, exhale, two, round, roll down. Three, pull the abs in, round into the back as you roll down, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, squeeze it up, four, round into the back, roll down, five, keep that rounding, pull the abs in, six, inhale, Roll down, seven, roll down, eight, roll down, eight, roll down, seven, roll down, Rounds into the back as you come up. Six. 
fold down. Five, roll down. Four, roll down. Five, also move down the mat. So turn to creep up. Roll down, inhale. Six, round and back, roll down. Seven, roll down. Eight, roll down. Last set of the inhale. One, roll down. Two, <laughs> roll down. Inhale, exhale. Three, roll down. Four, roll down. Five, roll down. Six, roll down. Coming up, hover round into the back for eight, six, five, four, two, one. Maybe a little lower, round into the back, switch your core on. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, all the way down and stretch it up. Maybe the feet as wide as the mat, sink your knees side to side. Coming back to center. So I'm just changing sides. So the next one we're going to do is rolling all the way over. If you can't do this, just do what we've just done. So your feet are flat, hands are next to you. Inhale, come up, round into the back. Exhale, roll over. Inhale, round, roll over. Remember, just do what you can to roll over. Three, roll over. Four. Five, inhale, six, seven, eight, and also try not to turn your head when you're lying on your back. Try to keep your gaze between the knees, seven or the calves. Six, inhale, exhale, five, exhale, four, exhale, Actually, don't need to use arms, do we? Three. Exhale. Did forget about that. Two. Exhale. Much better working. One. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. One. And down. Two, and down, inhale, three, down, 
Inhale, exhale, four. Exhale, down. Exhale, five. Forward, six. Seven. Eight. And roll down, hold it for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, one, two, maybe a little lower, four, six, seven, eight, a little lower, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down, arms above the head, stretch it up, one foot on top of the other, pull to one side. Center. So this is a full body workout. That's why I love it. And the next one we're going to do is come up. So inhale. I mean, starting from here, sorry. Roll down. Take it over. Come up. Roll down. Take it over. Come up. So let's go. Starting from up here. Core's tight. Round into that back, inhale, up and over. Try to keep the legs straight. Two. If you find it's too much on the back, bring the feet down like we did on the last set. Three. Four. Oh, they touched. Five. Otherwise, imagine it's hot coals and you can't touch. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, <laughs> almost <laughs> three, oops, two, round into that back, also nice to work, especially if you arch your back more, one more set, one, Two, three, four, <laughs> five. We're going to hold it at the top after the set. Six, seven, eight. Come up, hover, straight legs all bent. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Just stretch it up. Pull to one side and then the other. So I'm changing sides again. This time. We're going to take it and we're going to have our hands, not our hands, our feet in the air. If you find it hurting your back, then come down and just skip it or do another set of what we've just done. Otherwise, you're going to, and also don't turn your head when you're there. So you're going to come up. Taking the feet as high as you can. Squeeze the core, one leg at a time, down and up. So just a few things. Make sure not to turn your head when you're there. I guess another thing is to make sure your pony is high 
so that we don't compromise the neck, right? So coming into the position, your feet are up, your core is engaged. When you come up at the top, don't bring the other leg down. So try to keep both legs as high as you can. The one that's coming down is going to meet the other. So gaze in straight ahead, make sure the back of the shoulders and the back of the head is on the mat. Hands up behind the back. Lift up one leg. One, two. Keep the core tight. Bring your elbows in a little tabby light on those hands. Four, five. Inhale. Six. Those legs walking towards each other. Seven. If you need to come down a little, but try not to. Eight. Eight. Seven, six, almost there, five, then we'll take sides, four, three, two, one, one more set, one, two, three, inhale, exhale, four, Five, six, nearly there, seven, eight, change legs, one, reach the leg all the way over and up, two, core is tight, I feel it working most at the top, four, five, exhale, six, seven, Eight, almost there. Remember not to turn your head. Eight, be light on those hands. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more set. One, course tight. Two, Three, four, five, six, squeeze it at the top, seven, eight, roll down, just release your hands, hands into a t-shirt, sink in the knee side, this side should feel really good. The next one we're going to do, if that worked for you, we're going to take both feet over. Otherwise, do any modification that you need to. I don't want your neck to hurt, and I don't want your back to hurt. So gently coming up again, taking both feet down, and then as high as you can, squeeze. One, inhale, down, exhale, squeeze. Squeeze at the top, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, almost there, inhale, squeeze those elbows, walk them in, five, six, inhale, seven, Inhale, eight, squeeze it at the top, engage that core, eight, seven, six, five, inhale, exhale, Four. He said up. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. One more set. One. Keep the core tight at the top. Two. Squeeze it up. Three. 
and then we're going to work into obliques and back. Four, because I don't feel we've worked enough legs yet. Five, inhale, squeeze it up. Six, squeeze it up. Seven, squeeze it up. Eight, squeeze it up. Release it down. Roll down, hands into a T. Sink in the knees side to side. Stretch if you need another stretch. And we're going to come onto our sides. So staying on the side. Either you're going to bend the knees to lift the head. If you find you need to put your hand here to help you, then this is the option. Because if you need your hand here, that means it's working too much. So either there bent or straight one foot, the top leg in front, that foot on the floor, or both feet stack the third option harder. Lifting up and squeeze. One, stack the head. Three, four, five. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release, changing sides. On your shoulder, on your elbow. <laughs> shoulder, lift out of that shoulder. And then heels in line at the back. First leg is up, point the toes, sit up nice and tall. Push out of that shoulder, push that side body up. Circles. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Smile and breathe if it's burning. Seven, eight. Flex. Reaching from the hip to the bum. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. So to stretch, you're taking that leg behind, open the hip. Open the knee and lift up. One. Either your hand is here or there or here. Five. Six. Flex in the foot to work into inner thigh. If you want to, you can push that knee out to work that inner thigh a bit more. Push out of the shoulder. Seven. Eight. One. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push out of the shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. We're going to do the last set, so I will stretch after that. Sorry. After that. Try to push with the elbow in the mat. Try to push the whole forearm into the mat to kind of distribute the weight more evenly than just pushing into the elbow. Either the heels in line with the bum lifting up or straight legs one foot is in front lifting up if you need to bring the hand down come to the first option or taking the third option lift up if you need to bring the hand down come to the second option choosing your options let's go one two push out of the shoulder make sure the shoulder and the elbow in straight line six Eight, one, three, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. Come onto your back diamond shape and fold forward. Tuck your chin in, rounding into the back. Coming up on or hand in line with the hip and reach it over. Opposite hand to the knee, stretch it over, open the chest, taking that arm as far back as you can behind, and then bring it to a 45 
they're great. Coming again for the first time, which I'm sad it was. Heels in line at the bum, straighten that leg, sit up nice and tall. Taking that leg as high as you can, keep the core tight, point and breathe up and down. One, two, keep the upper body still. Three, push out of that shoulder. Four, inhale. Five, six, seven, eight. Straighten that leg so you're working into the whole leg. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, and take it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Stretching that leg, taking that um, back top leg behind, bend the knee, lift up, bring it forward, flex. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Maybe forward. Two, three, four. Straight leg. Six, seven, eight. Forward. Two, three, five, six. Eight, take it to the middle hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Last set of obliques. Coming onto your side. Lift up. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Choosing your options. Seven, eight, one, three, four, six, seven, eight, one. Two, four, five, six, eight. Release it down. Come into the second side and then we'll scrape. So on your elbows, taking that first leg up, sit up nice and tall through the shoulder, straight leg down, point one. Keep the upper body still, two, which really makes you work your core more, work the leg more, four, because you use your upper body to swing when it's hard. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Hold it here. One, two, sit up nice and tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. Taking that leg behind you. Lift it, bring it forward. One, two, three. Just like a bit of an angle. Six, eight. Bring it forward. One, three, four, five, six, eight. And forward. One, three, four, six, Seven, eight. Middle, lift up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Taking the either the bent knee or one foot over or both up. Lift up. One, two, three, five, six, eight. One. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Coming straight legs. Take it over and stretch. Lengthen. Take it over and lengthen and release. Coming. To lie on your tummy. We're going to work into mid to upper back. Feet are on the mat, arms are in front, palms face each other, 
lift the upper body, palms turn out, pull the shoulder blades together, and swim it through. Let's go. Inhale. One. Two. Maybe lift a little higher. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, one more set, one, Two, three, head in line with the spine, lift a little higher, five, seven, eight, lift up, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, release, bearing cheek to one side, taking it the other. Hand under the shoulders and come back into your cat and cow just to work into releasing the spine. One more. And coming back onto your tummy. We're going to do another set but this time we bring the legs up Working on upper body, legs work the whole back. Palms to the ceiling, squeeze legs out and in. Not bringing the legs all the way together unless you're very flexible in the back. But make sure the knees are lifting off the mat, not staying to a straight line, but working from the back to the heels. The toes. Three, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one more set. One, two, three. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Six, seven, eight, and three. Hands under the shoulders. Push back into child's pose. Come up, cat. Shoulders over the wrists, and one more set. And last thing we're going to do without the inchworm, come into down dog, either from here or from a plank. You're going to step the leg forward and open up. Bring it down, step it back down dog either from down dog or come to plank step it forward <coughs> open up step it back down dog <coughs> three open up bring it down <coughs> push back four open up push back maybe from here, five, open up, push back, four, plank, six, push back, we're only doing eight of these, four each side, seven, eight, and push back, 
knees to the mat and tuck toes, push back to child pose. Walking your hands one side, center, walking them the other side, pull back, center, and release. Thank you for joining me in another lesson of Pilates with T-Bed. See you.